Season 3 of The Last Kingdom hit screens last month as the cult historical drama made its highly awaited comeback to Netflix. The Last Kingdom is based on the Saxon stories by author Bernard Cornwell with the books rooted in history but taking poetic license with the facts when necessary. Both the novels and the TV series concern themselves with the formation of Britain today with the action told through the fictional character of Uhtred of Bebenberg played by Alexander Draymon. Cornwall has written a total of 12 novels in the Saxon stories to date with the most recent installment being published in October this year. The plot synopsis for the new novel called War of the Wolf reads, While Uhtred might have regained his family's fortress, it seems that a peaceful life is not to be, as he is under threat from both an old enemy and a new foe, Cornwell looks set to be continuing with The Last Kingdom for a while yet after he revealed that he's now working on the next novel. He told the Post and Courier, Right now I'm working on the follow-up novel to War of the Wolf, but I've only just begun, so it has no title and I haven't a clue what will happen in the next chapter. Will there be another series of The Last? Kingdom, The Last Kingdom has a definite ending in 937 AD, Image, Netflix, The Last Kingdom has a definite ending in 937 AD, Image, Netflix, The Show Charts, The Birth of England and the Reign of Alfred the Great David Dawson, and his successors and falls within a certain time period. Cornwall has said that The Last Kingdom will end with the Battle of Brunanbear in 937. In a separate interview with History Extra, Cornwell said about his writing process, We don't actually know that much about the time period. We do know a lot about King Alfred's reign, for the simple reason that he liked to write everything down in his Anglo-Saxon chronicle. But when he dies in 899, it's rather as if the lights have gone out. I try and include the major events that the chronicle mentions, but there's not enough there to make up a short story. As a writer, I've got to invent more, Cornwall continued, generally, I pick salient points out of the Chronicle and other histories and expand on them, so for example, the Last Kingdom series is going to end with a real historical event, the Battle of Brunanbear in 937. The battle marked the beginning of England, so obviously had to be included in the series, How to Watch the Last Kingdom Season 3 Online. The Battle of Brunanbur was fought in 937 AD and marked the beginning of what we now know as England, Wales and Scotland today. Prior to the battle, England was made up of various earls and kings, who ruled over different territories. Meanwhile, there were Celts who ruled Scotland and parts of the southwest of Scotland, Wales and some Cumbria. Northern England at this time was ruled by Norse earls, who descended from the Vikings, while the rest of England was ruled by the Anglo-Saxons. The battle saw an army of Norsemen and Celts fighting against King Athelstan, the grandson of Alfred the Great, and the Anglo-Saxons, the historic UK states. Is The Last Kingdom based on historical fact? The Last Kingdom writer Bernard Cornwell has spoken about the end of the series, Image, Getty, according to the Anglo-Saxon Chronicles, which details the battle, no slaughter yet was greater made air in this island, of people slain, before this same, with the edge of the sword, the huge clash led to heavy causalities with the chronicle recording, five kings lay on the field of battle, in bloom of youth, pierced with swords. So seven eke of the earls of Anlaf, and of the ship's crew and numbered crowds, despite these records, much is said to still be unknown about this historic battle that shaped the future of a nation. The site was thought to have been uncovered last year after TV historian Professor Michael Wood suggested the battle may have been fought in Bromborough on the Wirral, Merseyside. Previously, more than 30 different sites were potential locations for battle before the 2017 consensus, reported The Times. The Last Kingdom Season 3 is available to watch on Netflix now.